Welcome to the latest in our Sean Graham Cheltenham Festival anti-post previews. Today we're going to be looking at the Queen Mother Champion chase and once again I've been joined by Brian Graham. Brian, looking at this race, I think we're going to get a bit of a triple threat. Whether we get uh, a match between four of them remains to be seen. So let's start at the start, the favourite Altio. He's unbeaten in 12 starts over obstacles and last time out he brushed aside Politolog. Worthy favourite? Absolutely, done nothing wrong. Um, seven out of seven over fences. And when you do look at the, the market and the way it's playing out at the minute, Min is, is his closest challenger there. When they, the only time they ever met was in the Supreme Novices going back to 2016. And Altio kicked him out of the way, beat him by seven lengths off levels. You would say since then, Altior has progressed to a higher level than Min has. Both have had injury problems. Altior came out there in Newbury last weekend, beat a fit Politolog by four lengths off levels. And you would suggest that anything he does going forward, there must be improvement there. Do you believe in the bounce factor? So that's when a horse comes out after, after a while off, uh, puts in a nice performance, but then the next time out, they, they disappoint. Yeah, I, I do believe in it, and there's there's hundreds and thousands of cases where that has happened. But at this very, very top level, I, I don't see any reason why Altior should suddenly tail off. We've seen Min, um, and Min really should be five out of five over fences. Um, I was at Leperstown at Christmas, and for whatever reason, he just didn't put it in that day. Did win the race, uh, was first past the post in front of Simply Ned, and subsequently, subsequently and greatly got disqualified. Um, because of what happened on the running. Now since then, Min has pushed that form completely aside. He's turned the tables upside down with simply that. He, 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 he won by 12 lengths at the festival at Leperstown, so you would suggest that whatever happened at Christmas, Min just wasn't on form. But like I say, the only time these two have, uh, have ever met, Altior has beaten and beaten very, very easily. Just touching on that race as well at the Leperstown Festival, it was a plunge that day as well on Min, if you remember, against York Hill. I think he was something like 3-1 to one in the morning, went off 11-8. So that spoke for him that day. Uh, Politolog then, we mentioned today, is going to be a bit of a triple threat. Politolog's been the leading two-miler until Altio brushed him aside at nearby last time. He, of course, won the Tingle Creek. Just a word on Politolog. Yeah, I think he sets a good, a good standard, but at the same time, any aspirations of winning a, a champion chase, I think, were truly put in their place at Newbury. And the handicapper has Altior on a mark of 170 and Politolo on a mark of 165. Five pound between them, four lengths between them. The handicapper's got it spot, spot on. We mentioned it, or we touched on it slightly. Will it be a four-way match? Will Duvan make the race? I would say you would have to say no. All along, uh, Min has been targeted for this race and it's not like Woody Mullins to put two of his big guns in against each other and especially in the same ownership of Richie Ritchie. Um, I could see if Duvan was to run anywhere I think it might be in the Ryanair. So Duvan to the Ryanair and again just another fly in the ointment. What do you make of York Hill? Could this be the race that we're seeing at Cheltenham? I don't think so. I, I, I think that um, you know he, he should be three figures not two figures for this race on his performance at Leperstown he just not is not the same horse over fences as he was over hurdles and I think dropping back into the stairs or I, I don't know what they'll do after Leperstown but the run at Leperstown was so bad which you touched on it earlier that Min was backed off the boards that day well maybe he was backed off the boards because they knew that or because certain people had an idea what way York Hill was going to run of the others the problem with these races is that there's only 21 entries for this and quite a few of these are already targets elsewhere. We haven't touched on last year's winner special Tiara who was well, truly well and truly beaten by men in Leperstown but special Tiara runs better at Chapman than anywhere else and the ground, surely we're going we're gonna to have some uh, good ground come the festival and if that if that happens, special Tiara even at 11 years old will probably get closer to men than he did at Leperstown, but I couldn't see. I think he's just too long in the tooth at 11. So a bit of each way theory there for you, Brian, with special tiara each way. Uh, that'll round us up then for the Queen Mother Championships. Join us again next time.